Hello everyone, this is Ahmed Dan and on this channel you will find financial, travel and more videos. If you like what you see, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing. Thank you. Hello everyone, this is Ahmed Dan of AhmedDan.com. Today I'll talk about the Brim World Elite Mastercard. Brim Financial has created a lot of buzz on the Canadian credit card market uh, because uh, the credit cards they are offering are packed with features which we haven't seen uh, in Canada before. And although the uh, cards haven't been launched yet or they have not been uh, sent to the customers yet, uh, there's a lot of rumors and buzz on the market. And uh, even before starting to send out uh, the credit cards, it has come to my attention that the Brim World Elite MasterCard, which uh, used to have $120 annual fee, is going to increase their annual fee rate to $200. So this is what I saw on uh, Bream Financial website. So I'm going to take you to Bream Financial website uh, where I'll show you that it shows right now that the annual fee is $200 uh, instead of $120. And uh, I'll talk about uh, a few more uh, stuff and then uh, I'll call you, I'll call uh, Bream Financial and I'll ask them whether you know they're really increasing the fee from 120 to 200 or this is just a type or some sort of mistake because it makes no sense to pay hundred uh, to pay two hundred dollars for uh, just to have this Brim World Elite MasterCard yes the card has lots of features for example no foreign currency fee uh, Boingo global uh, Wi-Fi access and lounge key lounge uh, annual lounge uh, membership but not free passes however uh, $120 seems to be reasonable annual fee but not $200 so let's call Brim and we'll find out what uh, they have to say and then I'll give you some more insights on $200 uh, annual fee for this credit card thank you hello everyone so we're looking at Brim website and uh, yes we know all know that Brim uh, credit cards uh, come with lots of features for example no foreign currency fee global Wi-Fi and added security uh, however uh, the $120 annual fee for the Brim World Elite uh, MasterCard is very justifiable and uh, it's uh, definitely uh, in line with other World Elite MasterCard uh, because uh, you can have uh, most of the Canadian uh, premium uh, credit cards are actually $120 to $150 annual fee and uh, what I just noticed that on Brim website, the uh, annual fee for the Brim World Elite MasterCard, which is right here. Let me just uh, zoom in a little bit. Okay, so the Brim World Elite MasterCard used to have $120 annual fee. And when you now go to the Brim World Elite MasterCard section, so let's uh, hit comparison and then you can see right here that it's $199 now it's no longer $120 so the Brim World uh, credit card is $99 and Brim uh, free version is $0 however the World Elite version is uh, went up from $120 to $199 and looks like uh, the features are still the same I don't see any like you know additional uh, features they have increased uh, or they're giving anything extra for uh, this $80 increase from 120 to 200 so what i'll do let me call bream and confirm with them that this is not a typo or anything and this is really is going to be a hundred twenty hundred uh, sorry two hundred dollars from now on and then uh, after confirming i'll give you some more insights thank you okay so we are calling bream and let's take a look uh, if anyone picks up the phone for service in English, please press 1. To activate your card or listen to our self-serve menu, please press 1. To complete a credit card application, please press 2. If you are calling regarding a lost or stolen credit card, please press 3. To check the status of a credit card application, please press 4. To speak to a service representative at any time, please press 0. To Please call while we transfer your call to the next available service representative. This call may be monitored for quality and training purposes. Hello, welcome to 
Parker Financial. This is Timmy Day speaking. How am I assist you today? Oh, hi. How are you? I'm doing good. How are you doing today? Good, thank you. Yes, so I'm just calling uh, to double check something with uh, Brim World Elite Mastercard. Okay, you'd like to drop double check something? Yeah, what would you like to know? Yes, so in the past, I, I believe just probably last week, when I was looking on your website, it shows that uh, you know it showed that uh, the annual fee is hundred twenty dollars, but I'm looking at it right now and it shows that hundred ninety nine dollars. Is this a typo? Yeah. Or this is real. Yeah. Okay. So that is real. That is an update that has been made recently. Okay. The change and uh, when did you apply for this card? Uh, I'm not sure, but it could be like February or March. Okay, if you did apply in February back then, you people uh, applicants who did apply back then would be pardoned, and uh, the fee that it was before, which was uh, 120, okay, is what uh, that would be the charge for the rest of the year, just for one year, okay, then it then be just the 199 after that for applicants who did apply. Um, before, like back then in February. Oh, okay. So, yeah. so it's gonna be 199 from now on. Are there like any yeah. benefits change or anything? Um, not at the moment. So, um, well, for the world of veto, it has changed to 199. Okay. And also the with the addition of authorized user it has changed. I think I believe it was twenty dollars before it has changed to fifty dollars. Oh, okay, but you haven't changed the uh, Brim World, right? It's still ninety nine dollars. The Brim, yeah, the Brim World and the Mastercard are still the same uh, fixed fee as it was, which is for the World uh, Mastercard was ninety nine dollars. Yeah, it's still ninety nine dollars. Oh, okay. Uh, I just like to have your insights on something. So they're like you know BMO World Elite Mastercard, which has hundred fifty dollars annual fee, and it gives four free lounge passes. And then yeah. there's like you know Scotia Passport uh, Visa Infinite hundred forty dollars fee with four free lounge passes. So Bream has two hundred dollars you know annual fee. Doesn't have any free passes, but it just gives you the annual membership uh, via lounge key lounge access program. So do you think people are really going to you know get this uh, card for two hundred dollars? Yeah, I believe um, this, especially the world elite does have a lot of options. Okay. You know, like the insurance coverages. Okay. I don't know, I can't speak on, the, on other companies, I don't know what they cover insurance-wise. Right. For example, for us, pretty more than we do have like a trip insurance cancellation, uh, uh, interruption insurance, car rental. So there's a lot more I feel like this uh, Grim World Elite has to offer when it comes to insurances. Uh, and other girls might not. Okay, actually I compared like, you know, both of all three and it uh, looks like actually BM World Elite has even more coverage than uh, Brim World Elite. And so is the Scotia Passport Visa. So I'm just wondering like, you know, is it, could it be the higher end office coming from the free global uh, Wi-Fi access? Sorry, repeat that again for me. I get that. Oh, uh, your oh so I'm, I'm just saying that, you know, I compared the insurance uh, benefits uh, between your card and BMO World Elite and yep. uh, Visa uh, Scotia Passport Visa, they have more coverage than Brim, but I'm just wondering, could your higher fee, as a result of the free global Wi-Fi access, which you're giving for free? Yes. Yeah. Also, the with the foreign exchange fee also. Yeah. The foreign exchange fee, you know, other banks do charge a two point five percent. I'm sure. And the Scotia Passport doesn't charge. It has zero foreign exchange fee as well. Yeah. Okay, uh, I can't really speak. No, no, I, I understand. Branches, I understand. I'm just like, okay. you know, thinking that uh, what is the justification of charging $200 when people have like, you know, more options paying less and getting more from other institutions. So it just like, you know, I, I just don't get it that, you know, it looks like to me that you're going to lose a lot of business, you know, because $200 is very high end annual fee and yeah. most most other compare uh, cars which you can like you know put in the same label even giving more they have like 120 250 dollars so that's why i just i just wanted to you know let you guys know yeah i understand i understand where you're coming from you know like this is a new card launch it means there there our agency is currently still working on on a daily basis to make a to make an amazing cloud for customers like yourself you yeah. know um but like like i said the brain world elite does offer especially this card that has a lot of great offers that a lot of people you know tend to like especially travelers right um you know there's different features we have a lot of insurance coverages um Wingo wi-fi is a very big one that um, a lot of clients love seem to like 
Uh, we have install main page also. Yes. Meaning like, um, I'm sure if you did look at our website, yeah, you, yeah. you have a chance to press our website. Yeah, I saw that. Yeah, yeah. like the install on AIT, that's a very um, cool feature we do have. You know, you could purchase a large amount and bring it into small increments to make it more feel affordable, right? Okay. Yeah, so there is a little here and there other things that are different okay. than other cards. But I understand exactly where you're coming from, sir. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, so just one, one last thing. Uh, I'm, I'm just thinking that, you know, after one year, I'm going to be switching to the regular brim with the $0 annual fee. And okay. my, my understanding that I'm going to still get uh, free global Wi-Fi, correct? Yes, you will still get the free, yeah, that, the, which is a brim master card. It does have the free global Wi-Fi. And then like, you know, foreign, no foreign transaction fee. So I'm going to still get that for $0. So for me, it, it's, yes. it sounds yes. like a, the best deal, like, you know, uh, probably in Canada, paying zero and getting free global Wi-Fi and foreign transaction fee. Yeah, but also know that uh, with the Brimo Delete, you do have uh, access to the lounge key. Like if you are traveling, you do have access to the lounge key. With actually, the actually you, yeah, you're not giving a free passes. You're just giving the annual membership, right? So uh, the it's not free access. You're just giving the annual membership, but they're not free passes because if you uh, read the yes, like, there is there yeah. is a fee. Twenty-seven dollars, I believe. Exactly. Yes. Continue. Correct. Yes. That, that is correct. But like you know, other uh, credit card, for example, BMO World Delete uh, gives four free passes, which has hundred fifty dollars annual fee and Scotia Passport Visa Infinite, hundred forty dollars okay. annual fee gives six passes. So oh, okay. yeah, so you're gonna you're gonna get a lot more, paying a lot less from those cards, you know. So it, I thought I'd just let you guys know. Yeah, I do see what you mean, and. Uh... Uh, if I must point out with uh, maybe with the uh, if you do travel a lot, yeah. like um, if you were to downgrade to a Mastercard, you wouldn't be covered for the travel assistance, the trip cancellation insurance. Okay. If you bought if you bought a phone with the card and uh, for whatever reason the phone got stolen or damaged, um, if you had the Brimo the Lee, you will you know basically be reimbursed to a certain amount rather than having the Mastercard. Okay. So. Derek, you, I, I, continue, I, I would recommend uh, you still think about it rather than uh, you know, trying to make that transition. Yeah. But again, it is up to you. Oh, right? okay. Uh, my my yeah. points, you know, uh, the points points I get from Brim World Elite, they're going to be still okay if I switch to Brim Regular, right? So, oh, sorry, say that again? Let's say I accumulated some points, right, from using uh, yeah. Brim World Elite, and once I switch to Brim Regular, still I will have the same points, right? It's not going to go away. Yes, up to twenty-five thousand. Yes. Um, so you're, you're so you're meaning like if you if you were to bring the lean, if you accumulate let's say a thousand points, and if you wanted to move to the Brim Mastercard with those points, yeah, with those points we transfer it to, would it still stay on your record? Is what you mean? Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Definitely, it would stay on your record. Okay. Okay. Then then it makes sense, you know. Thanks for uh, confirming yeah. that. Yeah. Well, I would, mind telling me who I'm speaking with too? Sure, uh, this is Ahmed Don, and actually I, I did apply for a card which I haven't received yet. Okay, yeah, we're still in our processing phase, so we actually did start, actually start sending out uh, cards in batches okay. as of uh, yesterday. So we are fully launched at this moment, and uh, did you have, did you get an email? Yeah, I'm getting email like, you know, every few days, but it just says to, you know, to be patient. <laughs> yes. So. Uh, possibly by the by the end of next week, you should you should have a card with you. Oh, okay. Right? Okay. That... So yeah. So currently we we're still we're uh, we're in touch. We're, we'll be in touch regarding the status of people's applications once that's processed. Okay. You know, then approved card members will then receive their card about a week after approval. Oh, okay. So if I get the approval next week, probably I'll get the card the week after. Exactly. Yeah. Uh, oh, okay. Okay. Sounds good. Alright, is there anything else I could uh, answer to you? Yeah. I'm at? Yep. Thank you for no. answering all the all right. questions. Alright, my pleasure. Thank you for contacting Green Financial. And uh, looking forward to having you as a customer soon. And um, I'm sorry, I missed your name? Uh, my name is Tim. Tim? Tim? Oh, T -E -M -I -D -E. thanks. T-E-M-I-D-E. I'm sorry? T-E-M-I-D-E. T-E-M-I-D-E, -E. -E -E. okay. Yeah, it's me. So it's Tim or Timid? To me, to you, call me to me. But if you can't pronounce that, you can call me Tim. Oh, okay. All right. Thank you, Tim. Yeah. All right. My uh, pleasure. Thank uh, you for coming to Brim Financial. Have yourself a lovely day. Thanks, you too. Bye.
Okay, so you just heard the conversation. Uh, the $199 annual fee is not a typo. This is a real thing. And uh, the unfor unfortunate thing here is that, you know, they're not giving you any free lounge passes. Uh, you, as you heard uh, the conversation that, you know, if you have BMO World Elite, which pays $150, which has $150 annual fee, then you get free uh, four passes. Uh, Scotia Passport, Visa Infinite Card, $140 annual fee you get six free lounge passes so i don't know I, I don't understand why someone would want this card beam wall elite uh which you have to pay 199 dollars annual fee and you get no free passes you just get the annual membership uh, fee for free so the other thing i i would like to mention that uh, the customer service uh, guy who is a uh, you know very actually is a very good rep and he's talking about all the benefits and everything uh, but those cars have the same benefits and even they actually have more benefits than the brim in some cases uh, for travel insurances so the benefits are in line or they're comparable and even you're gonna get more uh, in some of them with the uh, Scotia Passport Visa Infinite or uh, BMO World Elite Mastercard the only thing those cars do not offer which brim World Elite Mastercard is offering is the lounge key I'm sorry not the lounge key is the uh, let me just take a look where did it go the free global Wi-Fi uh, which is right here so basically you get a fixed some uh, fixed hours uh, free global Wi-Fi access every month and you can use it anywhere in the world so this feature actually is not provided by any other cards or any of those cards I just mentioned so this is something really unique and it might come in handy if you travel a lot or even on the plane you can use it some planes have wi-fi if you are a member of the global wi-fi uh, so this is a good feature but the interesting thing is you can get this feature for free if you have bring uh, the basic card which has a uh, zero dollar annual fee so i'm not going to keep this card beyond uh, its first year so i'm going to keep this card and then after that i'm going to switch it to the uh, brim regular which has zero annual fee and still i'll be getting the foreign transaction fee of zero percent and still i'm going to be getting free global wi-fi for free which seems uh, seems to be a best deal ever uh, no one is going to give you this for free uh, and for the other insurance uh, features and lounge access features i don't need those because i have my scotia passport visa infinite card and i have bmo world Elite mastercard as well and i do have uh, i have reviews on those as well on my channel you can see that uh, uh, later on so that's that's my thought on this. Uh, I think this is a very bad decision uh, from the Bream. Even they increase the uh, annual fee even before you know cars are being handed out to clients. So from hundred twenty dollars to two hundred dollars, that's a huge jump, and I don't see any justification for this increase because the benefits are not increasing, and you can have much more benefits from these other cars I just mentioned. So that's all for now. If you like what you see, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing. And on this channel, I do financial travel and other videos. And one very important thing I'd like to mention you that this is the only channel where all the videos, all the reviews are non-affiliated. I do not make money off uh, these credit card companies. And if you're reading any other uh, reviews or anything online, most likely they're working for the credit card companies. They're offering you a link by which if we apply they make money so they have their interest not to give you the right information but here I do not do that uh, th these are non affiliated unbiased and honest opinion so what you're receiving is uh, nothing uh, there's no money behind it and I'm actually working for you I'm not working for any credit card companies so I hope you like it and please subscribe I'll see you shortly thank you